Hello, I'm Lisa Darmanin and welcome to the Bermuda Sail Grand Prix presented by Hamilton Princess, kicking us off as the first event for season three. We've got two brand new teams, two beautiful new venues in Dubai and Singapore, and some new tech to be revealed later this season. So get ready for more action, more One, rivalries, two, and more three, impact. Four. Sail GP is back in Bermuda for a second time. Because of our rich heritage, we learn sailing at a very young age. What you can get from this event is passion, support, beautiful weather. So expect some great racing. I'm now at the Sail GP tech site where the teams prepare for racing. Let's go have a look around. It's Tom Slingsby and his Australian team that have shown that they're the ones to beat this season, winning the past two season championships. But Jimmy Spittle has shaken up his American team to build on the consistency from last season and knock Tom off that top spot. I'm here with Georgia Lewin La France, who is part of the Canada Sail GP team. Georgia, new team this season. How's the training been going? Hi, Lisa. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. The training's been going really, really well. Obviously, we're a brand new team. First time sailing on the F50 as a team. The training's been really good. We definitely need the days, and we have them, so it's been great. And so you're here as part of the Women's Pathway program. We've got females racing on all the boats. How important is for women in sailing to see you guys racing out there? Uh, it's such a cool opportunity, and it's a really good time for women to become more involved in the sport. So it, it is an honor to be representing the women back home and I hope to inspire everyone. Well good luck this weekend and can't wait to see you out there racing. Thank you. I'm here at the Sail GP Insights container. This is where the magic happens. All that high-tech data flows into here. These guys know all the team secrets. I'm here to talk to Hugo who's a data analyst. Hugo, what happens inside? So inside this container we have two teams, the data analysis team and the system team. So the system team is looking at the data of the boats uh, directly on live. And the goal is to make sure that there is no failure on the boats, everything is working perfectly to have more fair racing. And us, the data analysts, we're looking at the performance of the boats. So the goal is to understand and to say to the coach, at the end of the day, why your boat were selling faster, why they were managing better. And so basically it was going the right ways. And what have you seen in the training so far here in Bermuda? In the training, so we have two sessions of training. The first one was with the Swiss and um, the Canadians, where they were training together. Uh, we saw big improvements during the days. And the second training was with all the boats. And uh, I think the Danish were quite impressive, and I really want to see how they're going for this weekend. And who do you think is going to be in that top three final on Sunday? Oh, if I have to pick three boats, uh, it's going to be hard. But I would say, so the Danish, GBR also were really good. And uh, to don't pick uh, Australia because it's too easy, it would say New Zealand. Okay, well that's what the tech says. Let's see what happens out on the water. Sure. We have two newcomers to Sail GP this season in Switzerland and Canada, but both drivers have a very different approach to assembling their teams. Let's see who has the strongest hand. Seb, I know you're building a new team, but I want to see if you can build a house of cards. But I also want to know your strategy uh, for building your new team. Well, um, oh my <laughs> gosh, this is not a strong start. Uh, yes, the strategy was to... This is not going well. Um, now, getting the, fit, the right people in the right place is quite important. A team working together and some, yeah, some good team players. <laughs> Stop breathing. Okay, you can Don't take three deep breaths and then you can answer my question. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it goes better than my cards because this is really terrible. It's been a long process. We've been sort of forming this team for about six or seven months now. Uh, we've got a fantastic owner and fantastic people and a great culture and yeah, it's a lot stronger than my card building skills. I can assure you that. Canada's LGP team, they've gone with Canadian nationals and you're obviously brought some people in with a 50 experience. Yeah. How do you justify bringing some non-Swiss nationals in? As a new team, we wanted to have people helping us as much as possible to build the young Swiss, like newcomer generation. So LGP has nationality rules and they want the series to be national. You get a little bit of leeway in your first season where you can have some internationals, three out of the six on board. And we've probably decided to put one or two on board just to upskill the Canadians. Yeah, I think with Stuart, Jason and, and Rich, they're really playing, you know, this kind of big brother role really well. And uh, 
and I think all the young Swiss boys like me we're really learning a lot from them and yeah it's been really really great. So next year that the boat's going to be sailed by Canadians and that's what we want we want to be a competitive Canadian team and yeah it's slightly different to the Swiss approach I guess which has probably taken no regard to those rules. Do you have a strategy for this because I'm really bad. <laughs> I'm here at the Sale GP fan shop in Hamilton. Come on down to get your merchandise or head to shopsalegp.com to support your favourite team. We're so excited to have Bermuda as a beautiful backdrop for this weekend's Grand Prix. It's a place full of culture, character and criers. My name is Eric Christopher. I am the town choir of the city of Hamilton, Bermuda. I've been town choir for over 28 years. Yes, my first call of duty was for the Queen of England, and I introduced the Queen of England and announced her arrival. This is my uniform. The colors of the city of Hamilton are blue and gold, and the black jacket is for those that went before me, black people of Bermuda, who fought to fight and built up Hamilton. This is a bell. It is to get your attention and let you know that I'm about to speak. We were the media. There was no written media then. So we were the only ones that were literate enough to write. So we would write and then read whatever needed to be out just to let people know what special is going on. Well, Bermudians, you're not going to find it anywhere else in the world. Our hospitality is second to none. For people that just love Bermuda and we want to be assured in our expression and we want people to embrace it and not think about that thing they call the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> so there you have it, the Bermuda Sail Grand Prix is the event to watch this weekend. If you're lucky enough to be here, make sure to head out on the water, otherwise head to sailgp.com forward slash watch to find out how to catch all of the action. Welcome to the Bermuda Sail Grand Prix, presented by Hamilton Princess. <laughs>